Question. October 7, 2018 was like any ordinary day. After paying respect to Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and reciting sutras in the Guanyin city center, a whirl of mist appeared encircling the room. Soon after, my consciousness entered a deep slumber, and through the haziness I arrived at the top of another hell. The hell of great cauldron of boiling oil, for those who commit acts of extreme evil and atrocities, they will be punished in other hells, before being sent to this hell and thrown into the cauldron. Their souls will then be dispersed without a trace. There are approximately seven or eight rows of enormous cauldrons, filled with boiling oil. In each row are dozens of evenly distributed black cauldrons, each one able to accommodate several souls. A label hanging at the side of each cauldron contains the names of various countries, signifying the origin of the souls. Anybody committing acts of extreme evil and atrocity when they are alive, will be transferred here after serving their time in other hells. Their souls will be thrown into these boiling cauldrons and fried until completely dispersed. The cauldrons are gigantic. And so are the enforcement officers, who are bigger and more powerful than the ones in the unintermittent hell. One of them says to me, I am the enforcement officer of this hell. In the past, there were not so many cauldrons and they were a lot smaller. With the development and progressive human society, the rate at which people create negative karma has also increased significantly. In the past, people didn't dare commit such evil deeds. But today, for the sake of pursuing more wealth, fame and power, they do whatever it takes, even if that means stealing, making unethical profits, hurting others and so on. And so the number of cauldrons steadily increases. When we receive notice of all the offenses committed by a soul, they will be dropped into the frying oil and be completely dispersed. To be clear, the soul disappears completely, ceasing to exist. Nowadays, many people appear good only on the surface. They may be rich, powerful and reputable, but behind the scenes they have committed a bevy evil deeds. Most had cultivated to a very high level in their previous lives. But upon return to the human realm they became deluded and defiled and began to commit atrocious acts. Right now the underworld is compiling a list of every offense committed in the human realm. When these people's worldly blessings are completely depleted and their lives come to an end, enforcement officers will be dispatched to drag their souls to the court of the underworld for trial. They will then be sent to different hells for punishment before being sent here and thrown into their cauldron. In the human realm, even if you are rich, famous and powerful, so what? You cannot take any of it with you when you die. Only karma follows you. It is so pitiful and sad. An enforcement officer is escorting a male offender. The officer reads from a scroll, offender name of name of the country. As a person in a position of leadership, you engaged in acts of corruption and abuse of law. You hired a person to murder those who threatened your political ambition and framed those who were upright and just. You committed a countless number of deeds of sexual misconduct and even abused your power to threaten and coerce women. Although in the human realm, nobody knew about your wicked deeds, the heavens and the underworld will not tolerate them. Upon your death, you will serve your time in other hells before being sent here and thrown into the oil cauldron. Finishing reading, the officer throws the offender into the cauldron and he sinks to the bottom amid terrible sounds of deep frying. His body and bones vanish instantly, leaving only a black slag-like residue floating inside the cauldron. A trail of black smoke emerges from the bottom of the cauldron alighting on the residue. The enforcement officer uses a sift to remove the black residue from the oil and pours it into the drains at the front of the cauldron. Another offender is subjected to the same process. From a scroll the enforcement officer reads out, Offender name of name of the country. Your influence in your country cannot be underestimated. Despite your high social status, you colluded with other unscrupulous business people, oppressed ordinary people, embezzled a huge amount of national funds and were involved in numerous deaths. 
Although in the human realm nobody knew what you were doing, after death you will be transferred to other great hells to receive punishment, before being sent here and thrown into the oil cauldron. Yet another case. Offender name of name of the country. You helped both gangsters and public sector people to conduct money laundering. You colluded with government officials and businessmen. You engaged in the country's arms deals, you provided prostitutes to upper echelons for profit and you committed sexual misconduct. After death, you will be transferred to other great hells to receive punishment, before being sent here and thrown into the oil cauldron. And another. Offender name of name of the country. You were an influential gangster involved in smuggling and drug trafficking. You killed people, you caused numerous women to become depraved in the sex industry, and you colluded with high-ranking government officials assisting them in crime. Like the others, after death, you will be transferred to other great hells to receive punishment before being sent here and thrown into the oil cauldron. My consciousness began to return, and I was back in the human realm. May I ask Master to verify this account of what happened? Master Jun Hong Lu's reply, It is all real. When the black residue created by the souls, deep frying in the cauldron is poured into the drains, it is carried to the human realm's cesspit and gradually reborn into various small insects and bugs. In the process their spirits are lost and cease to exist. I said it before but this is why you should never ever commit such unwholesome deeds. You cannot deceive the bodhisattvas, gods or spirits. Those who commit evil will surely undergo retribution. It's utterly pitiful.